What I'm going to do is show you guys how you can see what your car will look like previous to actually plasti dipping it. If I like it, I'm going to order the dip and get it going. So let's see what shot we're going to use. And this is our image here. And we're going to use this pen tool to change different things like this stripe. I'm going to make this stripe the same color white as my car because I won't have it on there once I add the camo. Alright, once you have it selected, you should take this background and right click on it and layer from background and we'll just call it background and we'll do copy paste and by copy and pasting we'll go to image adjust hue and saturation we'll get rid of any colors in it and we'll lighten it up until it kind of matches and it doesn't have to be perfect it just has to be looking kind of like it was there to begin with okay now that we blended what we already had we're going to go on our new background layer and we're going to start making our design using this selector tool. So I would say just go around and make random selections. So over my headlight here, we'll do something like this. Try and follow the body lines a little and it'll look more like it came like that. If you over select something, you can do the minus. And now what you do, this is going to be one color. We're going to go to edit, copy, edit, paste. And now you have a new layer. We'll call this uh, black. We're going to get, go to image adjustments, hue and saturation. And let's make this dark like black. Now you don't want it to be super dark because then it won't look realistic. You want it to be maybe as light as you need it to be to look black in the picture but also work well with the uh, curves and things of that of your car. This is probably about what it'll look like in real life if I were to actually do it. So it'd be lighter where the sun is and of course darker where it's dark. We'll say okay, we'll do it again. Go back to your background layer. We're going to go and start Spotting it up again. Okay, so this is our second color, same thing. Copy, paste. Um, let's name this one. We'll call it gray. Image adjustments, hue and saturation. And we'll do just that. We'll get rid of any tones in it and turn it to a grayish color. Now you want to try and do the color as best as you can to match the actual Plasti Dip color. And this will put above the black. And then we'll do one last one, which is going to be the blue. This time you're going to push Colorize. Choose the color that you want. Make it a little bit darker so you can see it. Bring this up. And we're going to be probably around there for the blue that I was thinking. Now this is what my panda would look like if I were to do this. Obviously it could be a little bit different when I actually go to shape it. But this gives me a great idea so I don't have to go out and buy the Plasti Dip and then go and do it and then see that I don't like it. So you guys just watched me Photoshop an Arctic camo pattern onto my panda. I think it looks pretty cool. I hope you guys do too. So if there's any questions that you guys have, leave a comment down below. Give this video a like. And just like always, thanks for watching another video by Frankie G as me, and I'm out.